G'day and welcome back for more of Underground Alone and I'm already under attack by drones. This is just perfect. <laughs> for, for a given degree of perfect. Uh, hopefully my defenses actually work here. And I can actually take this thing down. What the... Why am I hearing things... Oh, what the... Is that my own turret shooting the ground there? Are oh, you see a sphere on the hotbar? Yes. There is a reason for that. Um, I will show that in a minute. You might notice that the surface up here is a bit more, um, intact than it once was. I did a little reset on the server, cleaned up a whole bunch of stuff, <laughs> and in the process, almost disastrously clanged out my, uh conveyor line down here. And the only way I could figure of not clanging it out <laughs> was to go into creative mode and clear out this little bit of voxel that was clear before I did the reset. <laughs> so I had to use voxel hands just before I loaded up because otherwise all of this. So this hinge part, it was over here. It was very strange. <laughs> It was very not good. Uh, so yeah, that's... That's why I did that. It, <laughs> it was very necessary. Uh, anyway. <laughs> no, I didn't screenshot it. I was just... I was frantically trying to get everything ready for the stream, but I was like, no, no, I'm just going to fix this. This is going to explode, and then I'm going to have to redo this whole conveyor line, and that's going to be the first hour of the stream, and I'm not going to tell want to do that. <laughs> So, I didn't. <laughs> so. <sighs> I'm back in Underground Alone. And I'm quite happy to be back. Because I've done a few things. The big difference that we'll probably notice today is that I have gotten rid of the giant shipping containers as drops. The drops are now all the same size as the evil fun music and cap app rap, 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 drops. Although now I think I might like to um, perhaps add cap Ax yakety sacks to one of them as well. <laughs> so I'm, I'm tempted by that too. Especially after uh, the last set of acquisitions. Alright. Let's check my resources before I get too ahead of myself. Because I do want to build up on the surface. But I... Unfortunately, I do think I'm going to have to replace this conveyor line at some point. Because if I don't replace it, I'm not going to be able to pull parts from the other end. Uh, which sucks. But I... I might have an idea of how I can make it work. I haven't tested my aspect of it though. But resources, let's see what we've got. I have a moderate amount of components. Where are my ingots? I have a little bit of gold, a bit of cobalt, a lot of nickel, pretty good amount of iron from silicon. Okay, and 664 magnesium. That's pretty good too. Alright. That's that's not all too all that bad. Alright, I shouldn't need to collect any resources. Maybe ice though. Yes, ice. Uh, does my tank have any do my tanks have any hydrogen? A little bit. Alright. Ice is the first job, and then it'll be on to building some more base and thinking and testing out my idea. Actually I can test out my idea now. Go get a bit of a uh, steel plate. Ah, yeah. Oh, yes. Maybe. Okay, so my idea was since connectors can go into the ceiling. I can do a whole bunch of unconnected grids that are just locked connectors to chain down this this hall 
and follow it and follow the contours fairly neatly with all of the conveyor lines embedded in the ceiling so that I don't have to have them sticking out too far. And being large grid, they can remain static and won't cause any issues. So I should be able to come up with some something that doesn't look too different to this, but is a lot easier to construct, which will also help with these other these other paths. And maybe the smart way to do this would be to start with this second short passage and do it, because then once it's done, I can start building a base from it and have that all piped up and not have to worry about the other the other entryway. But ice first. No, nope, wrong seat. Oh, and yes, I brought the stand up back. So up goes the desk. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, test unit, for 17 months while I lift my desk. And thank you, Cole, for a year. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, Ghost Outcast, for the gift sub before I'd even go on live. Thank you, Delete Ghost, for the Prime sub. Thank you, Battlestorm Titan, for five months. And thank you, Black Shadow, for raiding. How was the PAL world? Welcome, raiders. Thank you, Tony, for 14 months. Alright, now I can drive. Drive while standing. Comfortable. That's a jerk. Okay, that's not good. I can't go outside when the there's a missile coming in. Not in this anyway. Uh, wait, was the jerk a missile? Was it a? I think the jerk was the missile. Uh, very hard, Tincho. Very. It is very hard to have a desk position indicator on an overlay. I have absolutely no idea how one would approach anything remotely like that. I figure you'd have to get into Arduino and nonsense like that. Uh, it seems like that's going away from me. I'm getting my I'm getting my little flyer thing and I'm going after it. Let's see. I can take this out. I just feel very uncomfortable going outside when there are drones that are already out. Uh which one's closer, the fidget or the jerk? Fidget. Let's see if the plug-in for the server-related turret shenanigans fixed my server-related turret shenanigans. Well, there goes the drop. Fightless fights. Oh. Now the base is going after it too. And it's down. Down, but not out. And am I out of ammo? No? Whoa! Okay, there we go, now it's out. And now we have the fun <laughs> of turrets that don't stop shooting when the enemy is dead. Until their magazine runs out. Oh, 
some cobalt. Nice. So I I changed up I changed up the loot that I can get from these, but also so that I don't have to spend half an hour grinding down each of these drops. They're now just this little one. Which is super easy to grind down. Doesn't take long. And I don't get as much from it either. Which I think I don't get as much from it in terms of components, but I get better loot than what was in the previous ones, which I think is a much better way of doing it. For this particular setup. What time is it here? It is 6 a.m. Or just after. Right, let's go deal with that jerk. What the? What? Uh, that's a... Um, okay. Apparently I'm friends with the space pirates. I might need to fix that. Uh, I think I can do that in here. Is it in, uh... Economy? Change the reputation of player, splitsy, with faction... Space pirate, amount, minus 3,000. Change. Shoot the guys, not... Uh, mm. Okay, apparently troops get shot by shooting communication. Uh, this wasn't exactly how I imagined, uh, this mod being discovered, but I've added a mod, another mod by Chipsticks that spawns in, um, these guys to shoot me. <laughs> so that's the thing. Anyway, back to destroying the bad guys. That joke out. Oh man, I'm gonna waste so much ammo. Yeah, I weaponized Shack. I I'll need to see if I can um, utilize the stuff that Chip Six has done and come up with a, my own version that doesn't give quite as much loot from the crashed ship. And then I was planning on calling it any walking, any landing you can walk away from, as, as the command for you guys to launch it. missile hadn't crashed and it was getting closer <laughs> thanks Tony thank you for 14 months and thank you Serenity Legacy for 17 months Camac version armed with rocket launchers. Yeah. I don't know that I want a Capac armed with la rocket launchers. It's not exactly safe. <clears throat> or Black Shadows screaming for skulls. Hmm. Now I see why my turrets at the start were shooting the ground. And it's because of this issue. There you go. Now they've run out of ammo. Or at least of that magazine, they will stop. Those who saw the the streamversary special thing that I did with Never Surrender would have experienced this issue. With turrets just continuing to shoot. There was all there were all these people complaining. No, stop shooting, stop shooting wasn't the player's fault. <laughs> the game is bugged. Alright, back to mining some ice. I can keep having power, because power is nice.
Oh, underground ice. Huh. I wonder if any of the underground deposits are bigger. Either way, I am not digging up ice that's on my regular thoroughfare. There ice up here. Ooh. 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 No. Doesn't appear to be. That's a little bit sketchy. Uh, D2, I reckon Weapon Core could probably fix some of those issues and then create about 10 more. will do. This spot's out of the way enough. Do, 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 do. And actually everything's fine. Just thought that was celebratory shooting. Yeah. The it's the turrets have all got capac disease. That's what's going on. Uh, I think the bug applies to all turrets controlled by AI modes. Actually, all turrets full stop. I think. Or weapons, maybe, even. Shall I do wonder? Actually, it may not, because. Because of the way that um, player-made turrets are fixed weapons, it may not apply to them. Hmm. Could be worth a try. Balancing the pole should still work exactly as it did before. None of that's changed. All I've done is changed the drops and added more potential enemies out there. <laughs> and brought back the thing to encourage me to use my standing desk more. <laughs> Those are the changes. How long ago did that? Oh, yep. I think I said for 15 minutes I would stand and then I'm going <laughs> to put my desk back down and sit my butt down. At least I can... At least I've set this up to quickly empty... Nope, that didn't empty. Why didn't that empty? I go, ah uh ah. -uh. Oh, because it's all full. No, it's not. There we go. So I've got all of the burritos stuff on this side, and then I've got my ship on this side so I can use the deposit all ores thing, which is something I've never really utilized, and I'm trying to get into the habit of. Thanks, Jemish. Thank you for the Prime Sub. Oh, great. Uh, that's a drop pod. Alright, time to leave. Oh boy, it's almost here. It's almost here. It's almost here. Duck, 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 duck. Bye. Oh, geez, there's three of them. Yep, definitely time to leave. So, some of them are getting shot at by my base turrets. Not sure I'm going to get lucky and get any silver, though. Safely inside. I 
think all the raider pods are now flying away, which means now I just have to find robots out there. Hey, I'm gonna get shot at randomly by things I can't see. Cool. Well, that's a load of ice, so that's sorted. Now, I want to work on a couple of things. I want to make this base feel a bit more complete. Like, I want to actually make some spaces in it and make some niceness to it. And then, I will... And in the process of that, I think I'm going to try and get large grid over to this entry and then start running that conveyor line because then I can start building a defense around that entry like I've got around the other one. Because I think that's probably the best process. Progr uh, process to follow, though I think, if I'm remembering correctly, I was talking last time I played this about replacing my fighter here. Replacing the fightless with something that had some fixed weapons as well as turrets mounted on the sides rather than on the bottom so that I had more more flexibility in the angle of attack that I used with it. But I'm going to begin by welding a few things up. So I think once I've got this ceiling in place, I can have a look at what direction to run the piping from. Thanks all about the geek. Thank you for the prime sub. Yes. At least they don't have holes to hide in for the entire stream yet. I think this whole underground facility is my panic room. Is it not? It's my, there's bad stuff coming, I'm leaving. Space. So one of the things that I did when I upgraded the drop pods... Oh yeah. Oh no, I don't, I lost track of that one, I think I got shot up. Oh no, I ground it down. Uh, one of the things I added to the drop pods was I changed up their loot, so now I can get things like med kits from them. So they're much more worth my while to go and collect. And because they're so quick to collect, it'll be a lot less... I'll be a lot more tempted to go to them to get their goodies and then move on, even if I'm doing something else, because it won't be such a dramatic distraction. The amusing thing will be when I have medkits but completely forget to use them because I never use medkits. <laughs> They are not something that have remotely gotten into my habit of play in Space Engineers. Yeah, I guess could add a thing to my flyer so that I can bring pods back rather than having to collect them in the field. But, with the potential of booby-trapped ones, I'm not sure I want to do that. That feels like it could be a mistake. I'm going to push this wall out one more block. follow the same design I did, but I just want it sitting a little further out. Uh, am I really making it easier or am I just making it more streamlined? Sometimes both of those align. Sometimes they don't. Space pirate spawn ship. Wow, why are these coming down so much? Wait a second. I have a feeling that I might need to blacklist these spawns. <laughs> um, so otherwise these are going to come out all of the time. Uh -oh. 
Stormtrooper aim from both of us. I don't know why the other one isn't shooting at ah, me. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. That's too rich for my tastes. <laughs> the polite combat. First I shoot, then you shoot back. Yeah, it did feel a bit like that. I'm not sure... I think there is within MES a command so that I can blacklist a spawn during play. But I don't know what that command is or how I would find it within a within any reasonable time frame. Thanks, eighty eighty six. Or eighty eighty six. Thank you for three months in advance. This isn't um, robot raider pods. This one. The mod that Chipsticks made is his own crashed crash landers, I think he called it. From memory. So it's it's got ships that look like they've crash landed and have pilots that look like Shaq. I, I suspect was intentional. The robots are in. Uh, it's just that the engineers are a new thing, but I thought they were going to be less common, but I think they might be the only possible spawn of that type. So they may be coming a lot. Like, they may be coming down like, a ridiculous amount. Ah, cool. Thanks, Fulton. I will do that. Oh, I've got a chat drop. One sec. Let's go grab that. Uh, yeah, this is going to be the quickest way to it. There's a thresh is inbound. Apparently it's got an invisible parachute. There's a cargo container. Fuel low. Uh oh. Fuel critical. Well. <laughs> uh, that happened. My body. Yeah, it's the right music and everything. Boom. Satisfying. <laughs> uh, right. 
Uh, the warning mod I had for Survival Impossible was uh, for my oxygen, not for my hydrogen. Fuel low. I'm going to need perpetually perturbed pirates regardless. I need to uh, remember to put that in. But I would have to restart the server and I don't want to do that. So I'm... I've, I've set myself evil enough to the pirates for now, it'll be fine. Alright, what was that command? There we go. Uh, slash mes dot get eligible spawns. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to copy again the command. Paste that. Crash land. Oh. Crash land spawner. Now we test and see if it's still eligible. It's not. Cool. All right. So we're not not going to be spammed with those now. I will have to fix that up for next time so that it is something you guys can trigger occasionally, rather than being something that's in the regular spawn list. That was my bad. Thank you, Vonnie, for the gift sub. Yeah. Okay. So, finish. My plan is to finish this hangar space and then build the hangar space for the fighter. And then hopefully the base will feel a little enclosed and then I can think about what I'm going to do next. But once I've got a proper space for the fighter, I can build a proper fighter. Because the proper space for the fighter, I think I'm going to go with something around the scale of what we've been building in Assertive Acquisition. Something that can fit through a regular gate. Which also means that it's relatively easy to print. As well as being something that can fly through a welder array and get instantly repaired. Though I do, now that I'm saying that, I think I'm going to need double gate because I want to have turrets and fitting any turrets on the ones through a single gate was very very iffy probably don't want to do that I know exactly which one you meant Andy and it only does oxygen it doesn't do hydrogen For the warnings, as far as I remember. That HUD. Because it was specifically to give me early warning about my oxygen because I kept running out <laughs> and getting myself nearly trapped in the early Survival Impossible days. Oh, does it do, does it do hydrogen well? Okay. I never used the hydrogen bit because I've never my hydrogen was never useful. I take that back. You're correct. Um, so more. What am I shooting at? Thresh. I think I put a regular conveyor junction here for whatever ends up going there. still alive. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. I was going to try and get some loot from that, but it is already dead. The 
It's important to admit when you're wrong. And then blame Capac anyway. I do like this little hangar bay that I made. do for that row in between? Maybe go with interior wall blocks? Give it some texture. I blame Capac because it's his fault. <laughs> That's why. spots in. Come on, get in behind the railing. Hey, Elemental. Thanks so much for 100 bits. Yeah, a cargo container could be a decent option on there. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure I won't end up needing that. Hmm. I want to do this. I think I do. I think I do. in the wall and fix up the railings then I might just fill in these gaps with regular armor and I think this look varied enough oh Nuki World if if TFE or Shadow are to blame, it's totally Capac's fault. <laughs> it's always Capac's fault. <laughs> doesn't matter whether he's there, doesn't matter whether he's not. That's the whole thing about it. He provides you an excuse when you don't deserve one. Continue the conveyor line to the end, not for any particular reason, other than I want it to continue to the end visually. <laughs> Just for the colour more than anything else. No, that's the beauty of it, Tamar. So you don't need therapy for Capac getting a persecution complex because he already had one. We're just full, we're just creating the self-fulfilling prophecy. Fulfilling Capac's own prophecy about it. Somehow it makes sense. Until it doesn't. That link is blocked by your antivirus. That's bizarre. Is it cause... 
the link starts as part of is is it because the nightbot hasn't put a space between off and https i wonder if that's why it's blocking it because i t <laughs> apparently i didn't put a space in there how many votes it's up to now I need to start I need to start posting it in the pinned comments on all of my videos on YouTube um, <laughs> to see if see if we can get the votes up to something crazy maybe Keen will listen then 107 not bad uh, it, I think not enough votes is like their default status. I don't think it's actually been reviewed and they've said no, not enough votes. No, Tommaso. I've actually never spoken to Marek. The opportunities I might have had were at like 3 or 4 a.m. my time and... Energy low. At this point in my life, my sleep is valuable. <laughs> Yeah, multi-grid projectors are a whole different kettle of fish to changing a single thing inside uh, the planetary definitions. I feel like something that's important for a new player experience is a very different thing to ask for. Especially when it's such a low effort thing to fix. changed? No, I don't think I do. I want that to stay yellow. But I want to put a passageway in here. that looking from inside just got to do that little bit of the back wall and a little bit of this side here which I might do also with passageways do I want the passage twos yeah I think I do Do I want to go passage three? Let me go passage three. That's the point. Two for inside, three for outside. Another thresh. I'm going to have to deal with those faces sooner or later. Okay, 
Hostile! Makes me happy to see parts of my base looking somewhat complete. I <laughs> so rarely take the time to do these things. And I really should do it more. Energy critical. Keen stream being hit by Splitsy's anti lightning cult. <laughs> just, just remember to be respectful if you're doing something like that. Being obnoxious about it doesn't get us anywhere. Hardly tell you're in a cave. Um. No energy. Yeah. Could be an asteroid. Fuel critical. Uh, Serenity. At this stage, no. I have no plans to play Rimworld. In fact, I got to the point last time I played it. Um, I uninstalled it. Which is more symbolic than anything else, given the size of Rimworld. Uh, but I just wasn't having fun. Uh, the concept of fun that Tynan has is very different to my own. And so, because I just wasn't enjoying it, I'm like, yeah, no, I'm done. I'm out of here. And I've... It's burned me enough that I've got no interest in looking at it again anytime soon. Like, you know when you get to that place with a game where you're like... This isn't fun. You <laughs> this is... This is... It's kind of like where I got to with Seven Days to Die. It's like... What am I gaining from doing this? I don't think I'm actually having fun anymore. I need to do something else. Oh, great. I have no enemies, which means I've got a frenemy, and they're going to potentially do some damage because that thing's actually pretty nasty. Really taking some gunfire. Come on, take it down. Oh dear. Ow, 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 ow. Kill it! <laughs> I'm not sure if it comes through on Twitch, but because of how quickly this drone moves, it leaves a shadow of itself from its smoking wreck, from its smoking bits, each time it moves. It's really kind of cool. Surely it's almost dead. I may need to get some more magnesium. 
Oh, jeez. face so quickly <laughs> I'm so lucky I didn't get killed then oh man that was so close to my head Yeesh. I want these. Access panels are the best greebles for a while. Such a good job of adding some extra detail. Not really. Oh, upside down. Inventory full. Inventory full. Can't be having that. Those bits, and we'll go and weld that. My voltage is correctly aligned. This one's going to be wrong, isn't it? No, it's not. Ha! Excellent. Just such a nice. They are just such a nice way to break things up, and these conveyor caps as well. Just adding that bit of depth without needing to go a full block for depth. The artist did a good job with good job with those. Although this makes me really wish it was op it could open, because it looks like it's got a hinge <laughs> that should open. Okay, how are we going, magnesium? I had six hundred at the start. So I've used up about forty kilos so far. Alright. Manageable, I think. I think I paint that. Then decide what to do with the ceiling. This little hangar space is done. I guess the ceiling for now can just be on the blocks. I want to try something new with this base and see how long I can stick at it for, which is start a space, finish a space. So about that newly intact ceiling, <laughs> I think it might not, I think the holes for the, the little robots might be uh, accumulating already. Uh, there is an openable duct grate mod, uh, which I did add to Assertive Acquisitions, and I did use in one episode, but the And while I think it is the way that they, it would, and while I think it would be nice for them to always be that way, um, you don't actually end up using it all that much except for decorative stuff. So I can see why they might have wanted to avoid the performance hit of a door that's almost never going to be used. Uh, Shadow, I am entirely unsure if finishing a project is possible. Although I really hope it is, especially with um, the sky warp. I feel like I should be able to finish that. At least to a level of finished where it's then getting iterated upon as opposed to still added to. Hey Zach. Hey Jardy. Man, 
you should start two or three extra projects to be sure you can finish one of them. That sounds, uh, yeah. Sounds about right. <laughs> That'll work. Uh-huh. That's my usual method. Surely if I start enough projects, one of them will be simple enough that I can finish it. Will I add a transform function to Skywarp? No. No. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like you've got two options with something like that. One is make something that can function in its intended role as actually as a combat carrier, or you make it something that can transfer, transform. It can't do both. Space Engineers is not going to allow both to be a thing. your project just for getting the gyros. Yeah. Okay. Turn off my lights. Yeah. I'm happy with this space. Ish. Just a little, just a, just a few minor touches, just some small things I have to fix. Just regretting adding the stand up command back in, as my desk goes up again. Uh, I'll regret it, and then I won't. Hey Jumper Jackie, thank you so much for 10 months. Oh, it's a lot warmer near the ceiling of my shed. Already. Alright. Uh, convey line. Uh, the shed temp's not too high so far. Uh, it's only at 27 degrees right now. Bearing in mind it is 7am. Uh, how did I find a sit-stand desk? Well, I went to... A retailer here called Office Works, and saw on their website that they had a decent sized sit stand desk that was on sale. It was super on sale when I bought it. Uh, and so I bought it. That was all. I just wanted a desk that was a motorized sit stand desk. Because I knew if it was a hand cranky thing, it was not going to be used. needed to make it easy. Congrats, Elemental. Uh, it is a... It does feel like an achievement when you get subgrid shenanigans to actually work. I don't see any problem with the interior wall blocks at all, Edric. They are as I intended them to be. 
these are not the same and that's on purpose. I am, I am expecting at some point my sit-stand desk is going to die, though. Uh, I have heavily overloaded the motor compared to its baseline, but it's still within spec from what I could find out about it. But since it's a cheap thing, I suspect it will die anyway. I don't see any gaps. I gotta finish bit, uh, the, putting that extra light that I took out. And there we go. Vehicle bay complete. gaps there, no gaps up there, no gaps up there, and none there. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> uh, it is not heavy armor on top, it is just regular light armor on top. If the drones blow through the ceiling, I... I'm probably done. <laughs> I've been defeated. Okay, so. I might do this little bit of wall here. So that we, at least from this tunnel, start from something complete. But also because if I can do something that goes and completes that wall and then comes over the top, I should be able to start piping through to this passageway. I'll have to redo all the piping. Oh, actually, no, that'll be fine. Eh, I don't know which one I want to do. I don't know whether I want that sticking out a bit further or whether I want Hello. it to go to the other line. I'm like thinking of moving it one block right. Fuel critical. Energy low. Um, Shadow. At the moment. With regards to games on Monday, uh, it's a competition between what Capac wants to play and what TFE wants to play. TFE is enjoying Enshrouded more, Capac is enjoying Palworld more. I'm happy to play either. So I don't I don't know whether I <laughs> I don't know when if any of those things are gonna fit in. Uh, with that issue in mind. Yeah, I've not been in the situation before where the two of them had different preferences. Or such different preferences. Yeah, I think that looks better.
Um, <laughs> not gonna lie, Tomaso, that sounds awful. A squad stream where we're all playing different games. I should probably get rid of that battery and spotlight in the ceiling now that it doesn't actually do anything useful. shooting at? What am I shooting at? There's no broadcast. Uh... Oh. Hmm. Goodies. Enough of that. I'll come back to you. some more. Choose your favourite kid first. Can't do that. Okay, I've got to get... Do I go for more defences or do I go for building a new... Um, do I go for building a new fighter first, because a new fighter is effectively forward defense. Not to side. No! Oh! Ow. feeling I might have gotten hit by a rocket to the face. Oh. I still see my... Whoa, my body got launched. Jeez. Yeah, no. Don't press escape. What the... Oh my god, what is going on? How is it being so accurate? Where did my backpack go this time? Oh man. Ow. Much ow. Thanks, 8086. Thank you for the gift sub. And thanks, Dinners. Thank you for 25 months. Where am I going? I should stop looking at chat and start looking at my screen. I was going to try and shoot that drone with my rifle. That, apparently, was not something it was fond of. Think, think. How do I want to do this? I think what I'm going to do... Let's go... Corner piece. And then I'll go across from here.
So that doesn't look right. Oh, no, it is. It is. Oh, dear. I mean, yes, I probably did effectively defend my base from that round by taking it by, to my face instead. Not sure that's the right way to defend, though. Perfect sense, Danny. Railgun for anti-personnel when it's your only weapon available is perfectly acceptable. Whether or not I expect anyone else to do that is a whole different kettle of fish. I just didn't think the drone was going to be that accurate. I was like, ah, oh, no, I've got time. I'm, I'm just a little guy in a suit. It's not going to hit me. Continue defensive line because that's what I'm working on right now. Oh, actually, what I want to do as well here is probably cut one of these bits out and put in a T-piece. So I can put a connector and eventually pipe down this way. But that's for very future plans. is just a tool to cook clones to prepare them for... to core clones to prepare them for cooking. Like an apple! Ow! My toe! Ah! Alright. Keep building this thing. It would not surprise me if more than my solar panel outside got damaged. Did you notice some sparks or something? There's always that challenge when you're under constant attack. It's like, do I spend effort repairing what already exists? Or building new things so that I have to repair less often? I'm never quite sure of the right approach. I should still have a good amount of magnesium left. I had 600 when I last checked. Down to 563. So it is depleting, though. Used up 80 kilos so far this stream. So no matter what else I do, I do have to go out and mine some of that. Before it gets too low. Um... I think maybe cargo container now. And I might use a connector and start piping this less on square. Let's see. See what it looks like if I lay it out. Yep. 
Yep. Mm hmm. There are too many options and none of them good. that I need to get fuel. Critical. So what I'm trying to decide here with the conveyor piping is I want to get it so that it's reasonably neatly up against the the roof. But I feel like doing it the way that I'm doing it's not quite going to cut it for what I'm hoping for. Cuz it does it is starting to look a bit messy. So I'm going to try something new, something I've not done before, and I don't know how much flexibility it has. It'll have a bit of flexibility, but I'm I'm just not sure how much. Um, right. Is that, I think I still need this bit to come out, though. I mean, what's what's wrong with choosing the com overly complicated path all the time? <laughs> it's a totally appropriate way to do things. Gives you more things to engineer. I think that's neat enough and I can make some stuff that'll tie into the ceiling without it without it obstructing my path and access to these tunnels. One thing about this series that feels very odd is being underground and not feeling and avoiding digging. I think this is where I'm at. Do that, then convey, then connector. Then I'm gonna try and fudge the angles and try and gradually turn that conveyor line using connectors connect like locked to each other. gonna be a little bit fiddly I think because I'm gonna have to try and adjust the angle of the connector without it snapping to the grid that I'm building but I reckon if I can get it to work could give me a nice curve and also give me some nice spots to attach lights to because it's part of the main grid, I don't have to worry about powering it, and it's full-size conveyors. So I don't have the problem I have with the other entryway, which is that uh, despite it looking cool, it is not functional. because I can't print components through it. Which is really annoying. Alright, 
now let's see how this goes I kind of want to go a little bit I don't want this to be about that but that angle is that going to be close enough I don't think so I think we're going to have to turn it a little bit further and then we go like so Yeah, I might add welders outside once the components are, once I can get access to components out there. I might. Maybe. Okay. Might have a problem here. <laughs> I don't think I angled that down enough. Uh, I just want to get some steel plates so I can place things down after. Let's try that again. Make sure that this is going to poke out enough that I can get the next connection on. That might be better. Uh, yeah, Andy, I'm attempting to build a large grid connection for outside. Hey, that does look. Sweet. Then I can go down to about there, slap another connector down. Then I can just kind of do this the whole way along. And thanks to build vision, uh, build info, sorry. I can even in survival mode pull things toward and push away from the camera. Oh, that angle's wrong. That seems better. Things Keen didn't expect when removing power requirements from connectors. Yep. There are so many things that I do now that I was so careful to avoid prior to that change. Like for building small grid onto large grid, instead of building a rotor or a hinge with a small conversion, you now just build a connector and drop another one on top and lock them. I should probably not run this down the center line. Because <laughs> it does stick out of the roof further than the other one. I'm thinking I should probably run it over in the corner. Oh well. Yeah, and I guess this is another reason never to press P. This P is bad. Uh, yeah, this should get me over the side nicely. Now angle that I want. About that, I think. What about this way? Probably more like that. And hope that they connect. Uh, 
Uh, and yeah, of course, these are stuck in voxels, so pushing P is not going to do anything in this instance. It's just going to mean that your outside welders might get disconnected. If you have them. Which could be devastatingly bad if under heavy attack, but it should be fairly easy to rectify that situation if needed. This is an abomination. Yes, it is. It's the perfect kind of abomination. One that is both functional and somewhat more aesthetically pleasing than doing it in the simple way. And also more... <laughs> more favourable... more favourable for performance than if I were to do this in small grid. Because these are all static grids. So it's, it's a weird meshing of all the good things and some terrible things. I think that's a point for another connector. Oh, that's going to be tricky. Not sure that's going to like connecting. Not that deep. Fuel low. Oh, and my fuel's out. Fuel critical. Yes. Build planner will pull from subgrids. Uh, sometimes you have to press it more than once, but it will do it. Pull this back one block. See if it works any better. Yeah. Don't think that's going to connect, but I'm going to try. One of the upshots about these janky connections is that they do provide access. Uh, they do provide conveyor access. Do, 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 do. See, that's coming through a subgrid, and it's working. But I am having to spam it a few times. Hey, glitch. Nuts. Didn't think that was going to work. Well, poop. Uh, I think I've got to go all the way back to here and reset this one. Angle it up a little bit. It's a little, I mean, angle it down a little bit so it's a little bit too high. That'll hopefully be better. That landed close. I don't know if this is actually better. This may be worse. This is definitely worse. Um, ooh. However. Let's just see how this plays out if I continue this line. Even further. One block less than that.
No, I do not wish to respawn. Let's see if these do work. Oh, that was a missile. Was it? Oh. That might have dug a decent hole, but actually got to hit. Okay, before, rather than continuing this the whole way, whoa. That's yellow. Rather than building all that I've just placed down, I'm going to just see if I can get this right out to here first before I decide that I'm okay with this long section here. really hard to tell. The angles are challenging to figure out here. And unlike the previous one, I don't have, I don't get to use hinges or anything to adjust it. So I can't, can't dynamically change it e easily. That's not going to align, is it? All? Is it? No, that's way too far off. Beautiful shade of yellow, just not for the sky. It looks like, um, food colouring. Actually. I'm not sure that's the right move to go there. I think I want to continue this. Oh, there's a worm. I was wondering what that noise was. <laughs> I couldn't figure out what the noise was. I'm hearing this scratching sound. pop up in the base? I don't know. I may have to get rid of this particular access way and make my own that lines up with a connector that connects onto this thing here. So if I gravity align this Try and get it lined up to this connector. 
and try as po close as possible to get it lined up where that archway currently is. Should be able to work with that for making a defensive structure out here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they damage grids. I suspect the stuff they spit at you does. I don't think you can trap them in a box and keep them as pets, no. They tend to do a bit of digging. Alright. Conveyor line placed. Let's get it welded up and then discover that it's really in the way of me using my truck through here. I think Chipsticks did make some bigger ones, uh, but they had some issues. Uh, Space Engineers doesn't like the very big creatures. Or I might be thinking of, uh, of the spiders that he made. They poop spice. How else did Splitsy come up with this idea? Hey, I'm not having spice dreams. I'm just like this naturally. It's just how I am. I mean, it's appropriate for Wasted to have named things after Spice Girls. He is British after all. Alright, we gotta get lights on this after I've done this bit, then... I can start thinking about the entryway, but before I do that, I probably should go and check the state of the other other entryway, as there is another missile inbound right now. There is no way I can scramble my fighter to take that thing out. I'm actually a little worried it's going to come straight after me. Thanks, Johnny H. Energy Thank you for low. ten months. Oh, boy. that could have been worse. Uh. Ow! Whoops. Thought it was going to be really close to the entryway, and I was going to be like, "Come on!" Bet I just needed to finish. Fuel low. Fuel critical. I, w of course, you Brits aren't all Spice Girls crazy, but I think nearly all Spice Girls crazy people are Brits. At least the vast majority. Um. How am I going with my tanks in terms of my hydrogen? 2.1%. Okay. Power usage on the base is not especially high, which is great. Which means that my ice collections are actually providing adequate fuel. And power without much else.
Indeed, Chuck. Indeed. Wasted will tell me what he wants, what he really, really wants. He wanna... I'm not gonna continue that. Um, ooh. 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 That's a lot more damage. And this is why I need a better conveyor system. Because <laughs> I have to fly inside to... Jeez, I actually even took out a whole block. I have to fly inside to get parts. Fly through the duck. Uh, turret. I need a turret. This turret got destroyed. There's no point putting welders in here because the welders can't get access to components. Inventory full. Those components can't pass through the conveyor line that I made. Inventory. Because all I was thinking about was getting ammo here, and I didn't think about getting components Inventory when I made full. Because I is Inventory smart. Full. Inventory full. I mean, despite its lack of function, I too like the small grid conveyor line in the ceiling. It's just got something special to it. It's different. It's different yet partially functional. Now, did you get ammo? No. What the? Am I out of ammo? No. are not pulling. Oh, I know why. Doesn't have the custom data info. The Gatling ammo. There we go. Yeah, this conveyor is yellow because it's not connected to anything. <laughs> These ones are fine. Like, I was able to move ammo into the turret. It's just that I hadn't set up the custom data field for the... Or is he... The sunset is certainly an interesting colour here. Goes through some interesting color shifts. Alright, this conveyor line is done. Let's get out. Grind this out. And replace it. Every time someone mentions Skittles, I just can't help but think back to when I really shouldn't have eaten as many as I did. <laughs> Do 
do that with gummy bears. No! <laughs> Shadow, I've told that story a few times. I think I've... It was something like 800 or... 800 grams or a... Inventory full. Kilo of Skittles that we had and I ate most of them. It was far too many. It's definitely way too many. Can I go like from the back of this? Yes, I can. Good. It's a bit easier. I take it, Shadow, you won't expect me to say that many. Yeah, in one... Yeah. Is that a school swimming carnival? I ain't no competitive swimmer. I was just there eating junk food all day. Perfect example of... Um, <laughs> school sports increasing obesity. <laughs> Uh, it was something like 800 grams or a kilo. So it's, you know, a stupid amount of sugar. I probably would have been better off just buying a bag of granulated sugar and eating that. Because it probably would have released sl more slowly than Skittles do. In terms of the... Glycemic index. Oh no, I didn't have a sugar hangover the next morning. I felt sick that day. Though fortunately, I didn't have to taste the rainbow again. It did stay down. And it wasn't like the Skittles were the only thing I ate. I ate stuff like various different choc chip biscuits and other stuff like that as well. It was just the main sugar source. easy. You just keep eating. Even when you know you shouldn't. Uh, that's how it happened. Um, I'm gonna go cargo containers. And go from there. And the other thing that's um The other thing that I used to consume a lot of, and I am so lucky I don't have any long-term side effects from, as far as I'm aware, uh, was a soft drink that some of the Aussies in the audience might know, which is Schweppes Traditional Lemonade, which was kind of like a lemon squash sort of drink. So good. I used to buy that so often from one of the Energy supermarkets on the low. way to school. Okay. If cargo access outside, it is completely vulnerable, and there is a drone inbound. Delightful. Any place it there, so I'll place the first welder there, second one here. Now I 
need to get inside and get some hydrogen before I fall down. Had enough down. Have I had a bit of I've had enough dying today. I'm falling. Um, Daz, there are two types of Schweppes lemonade in Australia. There's the regular lemonade, which is just kind of like... Many people would know it as the lemonade that their parents gave them when they were sick as a kid. Because that used to be what people did, even though it's actually really bad for dehydrated children. Um, it has so much sugar that it actually cause, can cause them to be more dehydrated. But... As a result, a lot of people have a bad association with that particular product. The traditional one is has tastes like it's got actual lemon juice in it. And yeah, like King Cookie says, a lot of those sorts of brands are um, owned by different companies and have slightly different recipes, uh, depending on which country they're in. I don't have a drill, do I? No, I want to drill out it just a tiny little bit of voxel. No, I'm not using voxel hands and cheating. That's cheating. I was just doing that before I loaded so I didn't have to deal with giant clang that was from me just resetting the world. And I also removed it off my hopper. Which means because I'm not in creative mode, I don't have access to it. Yeah, Azrael, that ginger ale would probably... I think it'd be very unlikely that that ginger ale had anything but lots of sugar and is probably still bad for kids when they're dehydrated. Um, high sugar drinks for when someone's dehydrated, the sugar ends up drawing more water into their gut and making them therefore lose more water when they have the inevitables of <laughs> gastroenteritis. So that's why medicated things and I'm not talking um, stuff like um Not sports drinks, because sports drinks also have huge amounts of sugar in them. But it actually needs to be the proper rehydration solutions. Yeah, Pedialyte is one of the brands. Over here it's known as Gastrolyte or Hydrolyte. I worked at a pharmacy when I was in high school and at uni, so... <laughs> familiar with more than a few of the brands. Yes, they have electrolytes. It's great for the farms. We got a plant. Use them. Terry said so. I can't help but listen to Sergeant Jeffords. White. Um, possibly, Spectre. I might play some Entrouded on my own to mess around with the building system more. I actually might have done a little bit of that when I was waiting for something to render yesterday. Because there were some things I wanted to do to the base that we'd been building that I'm like, I just want to try this. I need to see how this is going to work. Yeah. Uh, 
Thanks, Crawling Chaos. Thank you so much for 18 months. I do like assault cannons. They do make a great sound, but they don't hit things very much. Actually, does anyone offhand happen to know the velocity of the projectiles from assault cannons? Or even auto cannons? <laughs> yeah, shadow vanity cannons. Because if there are, if they have a higher velocity than Gatling, they may actually have a higher chance, a better chance of hitting these targets. But if they're slower than Gatling, then they have much less chance of hitting. Which, as I said out loud, is basically a justification for building a rotor cannon with um, rail guns if you have access to uranium. Which I don't. Gatling is 400 meters a second, assault is 500, auto cannon is 400. Okay, so assault is faster. Sugar is perfectly fine, just don't eat spoonfuls of it. Also, don't sugarcoat butter and deep fry it. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that's sound advice. Thanks, Fulton. Uh... I mean, I know, I know there are places where they, as some form of a delicacy, do sell deep fried butter. What the? <gasps> Ready to pod? Gimme, 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 gimme! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, wait, I don't have to go inside. I have cargo access outside. Haha. -ha. Whoa. I really hope that gun doesn't shoot me. Here. So good having cargo access outside. Oh, still one. It's not killed you yet. I was relying on the turrets to do the work for me there. Also, interesting. I'd never had one of them use a pistol before, but now they're using pistols. Interesting. Very interesting. I wonder what's changed. Yeah, the, n the new thing that I brought in from Chipsticks has had them with pistols. But they were carrying pistols, which they've never done before. So something's, something's changed. And I wouldn't have expected that mod to have changed anything with a different mod. So maybe something's been updated in... AI enabled that's caused it. Which is cool.
Oh yeah, Ada, how goes the um the wiki project? The Space Engineers wiki project you've been working on? Because you've moved over to a different platform for it, haven't you? Hey Dan, how's it going? Oh good, I'm glad it's going well. The last time I was doing, I've been, because I've been doing my tutorials again, the last time I was doing them, the uh, wiki was not useful for people. <laughs> so I always directed people to um, Reddit. So it'll be good to have one that I can actually say, hey, this actually is pretty good. It's not public yet. Ah, okay. Uh, let me know when it is, because I'll probably end up sending it to people. Fuel low. Oh, hydrogen again. Fuel critical. There we go. Alright, once again, just check my magnesium while I'm thinking of it. Down to 526. So I used over 100 kilos of magnesium so far today. And the more guns I add, the quicker that's going to go down. this one a bit differently to the other one. I do need to cover up as much of this as possible with armor though. So I'm going to need to figure out a way to do some armor design on here that's interesting. This will look all right. Slash function, okay. No, wait, no, not that. Um. That there. That there. Another one here. Then I'll put another pair of turrets on there. Then I can put... Cargo container back here. And a welder. I'm just putting down the um, the cargo containers just so that they're here and I can use them to work out where things are broken more easily. Between the welders and the cargo containers I should have plenty of different inventories to move through and then I can see whether there are any disconnections and more easily hunt them down. the truck fit with this armor up top? Yes. So this armor up top is the same height as the gateway that was here that I ground out. It's not extending down into the tunnel any further than that. I think. <laughs> I think. I think it was more than a full block extending downward. In fact, I could check because we can have a look at the one that's over this way. Yeah. So it's a full block plus maybe half a block that it extended downward. Oh, what an evil Doom Voxel. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that Doom Voxel with creative mode.
Why don't welders starters on when placed? Um, probably so you don't die. That's my guess. Because <laughs> if you're standing here and you're welding it up, you'll get immediately cooked. And that, that's not okay. Hey, gate. whether it'd be possible for a mod to identify voxels that are tiny like that. I don't know that that's something that's information that's accessible. I have absolutely no idea. I imagine trying to make some of that perform nicely would also be very difficult. Even if it is possible. Oh, delightful. You guys got three out of four. And I've got a new base. I've got Raider drop pods coming in, and I've got a Thresh inbound. Great! Great! Oh! Well, poop. I need to drill this out. Which means I'm not going to get this turret down while these guys are here. Ow, ow! Jeez. Oh no, now they're distracted while the thresh is coming in. Sideways enough. Yeesh. Well, I just got some bonus silver, which is nice. Oh, moving down this tunnel at speed with 16 health is stressful. And with the explosions! Right, back out I go. Wait. Uh, yeah, I've got enough. Oh! Oh! No! No! It's been annihilated! The, the Thresh has annihilated my new defensive structure! my own guns. Let me get in there. Let me get in there. Um. Stop it, gun! Stop it! Oh, the medical components. Oh, they're all gone already. That's probably going to kill me in a second. Not careful. Guess this is one of the downsides of targeting thrusters. Uh, no, my Twitch integration settings aren't overcooked. This is this is how it should be. I've been chilling for a lot of today, so I feel like 
this is appropriate. Just wish my gun would stop targeting all the thrusters on this thing so that I could grind it down. Ow! And stop hitting me! Yeah! Thank you, Governor 1988! <laughs> Thank you for the five give subs! Probably change the turret mode, but I kind of don't want to. If I depower it, isn't thing going to stop shooting? Hey! Nope. Nope. That didn't work. Low health. Ow! Ah! <sighs> Shot by my own guns. Right, you. Stop. Um. Uh. Oh, what the? Oh, they're targeting the warhead. Can't win. Warhead in here, this. There. Ow! Please stop shooting. <laughs> Jeez. Inventory full. Okay, well, looks like I'm rebuilding all this. I mean, this particular occurrence is exactly why uh, I thought it would be fun for Nev to add the mode where you add the ability for you guys to spawn in multiple things if you manage to get a tie. Because it's kind of funny. And evil. Alright, what am I doing? Grinding down that thing. Let's get more of the goodies from it. And then I'll get back to building this thing. Rebuilding this thing. It's just happily here, building away, and then it all went sideways. Part of my base is now a complete Omni Shambles, yes. Oh, this is heavy armor. That's going to be annoying to grind down. Inventory yeah. full. Oh, I know what I should do first. Before I continue to grind this down, I should add a cargo container back at the end of this. I can more easily drop stuff off. Um, where are we? Yeah. I think that ice has already rolled away, but that's okay. It's not a lot of it. I'm about to get shot, I think. No? Maybe Fidget will get shot before I do. Inventory full.
Fuel low. Oh, what now am I? Low. Gurg. Fuel critical. I'm just trying to clean up a mess here. The other fun thing about the spawning multiple things at once is it often means that there'll be multiple things that don't like each other spawning at once. So they'll shoot each other. That's a lot of sirens I can hear. Oh, what have you guys done? You balanced it again? No. No, you haven't. Good. <laughs> Let's get this drop when it comes down. See if it's something nice. What the? Stupid turret. Uh-oh. Well, I'm dead. prize did get shot, yes. Because of my stupid turret that's set to target weapons, not thrusters. Because otherwise it was destroying the drop pod. Just one sec, everybody. I can hear Charlie whinging, which means she's probably being kicked outside temporarily while Toby gets fed. And I'm going to bring her inside so that she realizes I'm here. She wasn't trying to get inside, she was stuck behind the baby gate. I think she'd shut it on herself. <laughs> she was stuck up on our back deck. Um. Because <laughs> she closed the baby gate. Does this mean I'm gaming in the doghouse? Um. Do you know what? I have thought about it a couple of times. Inventory. Whether Charlie would be safe to leave in the shed overnight rather than putting her in her crate. I feel like I'd need to tidy up a bit more of the stuff in here just to make sure. But come winter I feel like it might be nice for her to be in here. And also nice for me to have her in here when I get up in the morning because she, she'll keep it warmer. ground down what I can be bothered from this thing. Oh yeah, I'll reset that turret. I don't think there's anything too exciting here. Components wise. Like collecting some of this stuff sometimes is beneficial. Right, that'll do. Let's go fix that turret. Put it back to targeting thrusters so that next time you guys send me something nice, I can actually use it. Keep it. actually turning out to be about where I was hoping it would be in terms of the stuff that's taking damage. 
Last time I streamed this, I felt like I was getting quite the upper hand on the enemies. But after today's damage to the Gatling guns, I'm not convinced anymore. The Frenemies drop is a different faction, and the, the chat drop is supposed to be neutral. I've just never gotten around to fixing it so that it actually is neutral. Oh wait, that's loose. That. Just one of those jobs that I keep forgetting to do. this bug. Stops me from placing these down again. Alright, stand up. Alright, up goes the desk. I'm sorry I didn't realize you were locked up there for that long. Just assumed she was whinging to get inside. Yeah, it's an annoying bug and I don't know what's introduced it. I had some people suggest that it was a mod, but it doesn't appear to be. Because I've had other people say that it, they've had it in the vanilla game. And I've had it happen in games without the mod that was thought to be at fault. Nah, no, Charlie's, Charlie's pretty happy. She doesn't need a snack. She got like, um... Three and a half hours of walking yesterday. So I'd say she's still pretty tired. Had to keep her out of the house for a couple of hours while a pest guy was removing some wasps. Yes, space wasps. Best guy was removing space wasps. Everything is space wasps. <laughs> uh, right. Um, what am I going to do here? I might have make this better than it was before. I think I just got to get the more turrets down quicker. And the defense, like the structural defense in there earlier as well. Oh yeah, bees are lovely. Also, a lot of Australian wasps are not too bad. Uh, it's the European ones that are jerks. As, well, being an invasive species here. Hey crew. 
Okra. I'm not trying to say anything other than the European wasps are jerks. <laughs> They're really aggressive and really, really territorial. Uh, whereas the Austra uh, I think there are some Australian wasps that are the same, but the more common Australian wasps are actually not that bad. Despite what most people think about most Australian wildlife. <laughs> uh, you know what? Could do... this. No, wait, that's not right. I'll do that. Then I'll do... This. Hey, a nice prize! Where is it? Slowly falling down the hill. Come here. Come here. Stop. Stop rolling away from me. I'm trying to give it a flat. I'm trying to give it a flat side so it stops rolling. There we go. Cargo. What you got for me? 15 motors. Yeah. Could have been better. Still got the magnesium from the explosives though. Saying it's not that bad as an Australian, the rest of us. Yeah, okay, that's that's fair. As an Australian, I can say those wasps are not that bad, but you may not believe me. Um, but from everything I read about, I read about them, the paper wasps, which are a common Australian wasp, can they can sting you and will under the under certain circumstances, but. Um, they tend not to, at least not as much as the European ones tend to, which is super aggressive. Hence why they're a bad invasive species. <laughs> Shipped all the bad things down here. Uh huh. Fuel like my ancestors. Ow. It's so nice walking in and seeing this hangar bit complete, even if it is like a Hollywood Western facade of a building. Actually get some turrets built before I get attacked again. So I'm thinking this time I'll place the two front facing turrets a block inward from where I tried before with the hope that that will give me the ability to place both of them without having to drill out any voxels. It also does somewhat amuse me how little it made a difference having auto repair welders when this thing got smashed by rockets.
Uh, I should do this differently. I've done it wrong. I've done it wrong! From a style point of view. Uh-oh. What are we shooting at? Yeah, I probably would need a projection to make this work a little bit better. So it can replace the turrets when they get destroyed. Okay, get rid of that. Same here. And I want to get these two and replace them both. Yeah, this works. Not using heavy armor. Not going to the trouble of welding up heavy armor. Nah. Not happening. Never. <laughs> it's just way too much work and time. Honestly. <laughs> that's the reason I don't use it. It's just too much work in large grid. The welders only will only weld up a couple of blocks of it. Oops, that's not where I wanted that. See, the sky warp I've done with heavy armor because I can edit out the huge chunks of time I've spent using the welder ship to do it. <laughs> I can get rid of all that boring bit. Point defense does not work. So there's no point in point defense. Uh, interior turrets cannot hit rockets in any reasonable fashion. Is a lie. Uh, I've tested it quite, a f quite a fair bit, and I even gave the interior turrets faster ammo with faster tracking speeds and all of these other advantages, and they still couldn't hit a rocket. The rockets are fired from so so close uh, because they're usually fired well within 800 meters, or even at 800 meters, they're fired so close that. The Gatling, the interior turrets don't have time to lock onto that missile before it's reached the end of its path. Uh, Elemental, I don't have anything that blocks links, per se. Uh, but I'm not going to click on a random link. As nobody should do that. That is not a wise move. Yeah, and you should also not click on links from your friends in Discord unless they've actually unless you're speaking to them, because <laughs> that seems to be how a lot of people are losing their Discord accounts lately. One person loses it by clicking on a link, then they that gets sent to all their friends. And yeah, I don't have uranium for building artillery, so artillery is not an option.
Um, what are friends? They're the people you make fun of who still hang around anyway. That's what friends are. And the people who make fun of you and you hang around with anyway. What the? What? What? Where? Whoa! Whoa! Bots! Ah. Where did these guys come from? I think I know what happened. This was the lucky dip spawn. <laughs> it's a random spawn of bots. Without a drop pod. I didn't see him coming. Uh, yeah, so Lucky Dip is a random... Could be anything. And can even be some of the things that aren't programmed in to spawn otherwise. Any drone encounter. That's the way I've got it set up anyway. And sitting down. I don't think I'm going to smooth this out like I've done. I think I'm going to keep it nice and square. I need it to go higher. <laughs> when you're more secure for the resources, can you build a custom turret based on Capac's Pug Fighter? I... I've never had good fortune with custom turrets they're so ex they're so often really expensive to build and so fragile and then if you try and make them mobile so that they're less able to get hit they then go and make your vehicle all wonky so I've never used custom turrets as much as I could have because they've not worked for me. It could be a design element that I'm not doing right that's making them more vulnerable than they should be. Um, I'm not sure. Oh. Capac's turrets popping out on pistons on the moon base in Survival Unlikely. Those things did not last long. Back when I had no idea how to balance space engineers. <laughs> I learned a lot. I made Capac frustrated a lot.
energy low. How rude, Shadow. How rude. Yes, I balance things. Just may not be the way that everybody else wants them to be. No, fragile is exactly what it is, Death 13. All, all of Rota turret or custom turret needs to be destroyed is to get shot by a single Gatling round on a hinge or rotor part. And then it's, it's dead. And then, if the whole thing gets shot off and you have to rebuild it, all of that ammo that was in it has to be recovered if it can be, but it often can't and it gets destroyed. So it costs a lot to have them destroyed too. I'm going to have stuff other than vanilla Gatling turrets. Largely because, well, the other ones sound nice. Um, <laughs> but I want to at least get something functional first. Because in this instance, I actually Energy need to do functional critical. first. Alright. Guess I'll go up another... Maybe I'll do just another layer like this, and then I'll be up at the regular ground height. One, two, three. Ooh. Ooh. Hold up. This level I could probably put four Gatlings down. Is that beneficial though? Maybe. I don't get the best line of fire on things, but... Maybe. set them back as a tiered thing. Oh yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, I like that, silly string. Even if I only set them back like one block, I think it'll look nice. No energy. Oh. And like I obviously I'm gonna have some on a horizontal plane once I reach this upper level, as I did on the on the other side of the base. Uh, I just want to get to that point first. I mean, what would probably make the most sense would actually be to make this a level, like a horizontal plane, and then step up again. But I want to do this differently. Oh! Just another turret. Might as well weld up a bit of this armor again. Drones are doing a much better job today of actually getting hits on the turrets before they get destroyed. I don't think I changed anything in that regard. I think... They've just... Maybe we're unlucky last time. What the heck? How did drone bits get inside? And that far as well.
Also, I do notice that I've lost all my solar panels that were here. Hmm. What is going to look nicest here? Oh, I think I've got a way to make this look alright. Yeah. Nah, don't shoot yourself, you silly turrets. I do have a prize. I actually want to check out the prizes because sometimes they will be something good. Not often, but sometimes. There is a chance there'll be something like gold on board. Don't think I put uranium in the list. I think I put gold, silver, cobalt, all that sort of stuff. But med kits, power kits... Power kits. Not super helpful, but, you know. At least proved my point that I did put them in the loot table. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> that was quite the bright flash. Even against the grinding sparks. Don't think I care too much to have power kits right now. Alright. What am I going to do here? What I think I'm going to do here is probably a terrible decision. I'm going to do it anyway. Do, 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 do. I am going to expand this outward this way. And then I'm going to make a little flat area. And then we'll figure out how I'm going to move up to the next tier after this one. I don't think there's a block that joins those two up properly. I think that's the best we've got. Yeah. There is? Which block is it under? Because this doesn't join it up. I want like the half of that gone. That doesn't work. This one doesn't work. That one doesn't work. That one doesn't work. I don't think there is a block that does this. Arguably, that's closer than what I was using. Yeah, this is not... And the transition blocks don't do it either. 
Now, I'm pretty sure there isn't a block that does what I'm after. Because this one... Yeah, I think that's the closest. Eh, I can get close enough. I'm not too fast about things like that. The more of them you put around the place, the more intentional they look. So I don't really mind. And I'm definitely not the kind of person who's like, we should get all of these block shapes. I think we can definitely have too many block shapes. I think it is possible to have too many. That agonize is really close. Thanks, Maximus. Thank you for prime sub. So then we get into the seven days to die or the Empyreon situation. Wasn't expecting to get shot out then. Oh, Charlie's fine with the heat because she's got barely any meat on her and has thin fur. Shot out one of my car on a conveyor lines. Literally. Oh no, it didn't. I think it shot out one of my unwelded blocks of armor. I think that's what got shot. Oh, this is not the right block. I hate when I do this. I used to do that so often. Putting down one of those inverted corners instead of a full cube. Yeah, the trouble I find with once you've got a certain number of block shapes, it actually becomes really difficult to organize them in a way that helps you find the one that you're looking for. And if you have a specific thing in mind, that can be quite frustrating. All right, now, decide where I'm going to put the turrets. I think we go... Turn in the corner there. Maybe we could line them up on the yellow rows for this bit. Turret, 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 turret. And set up the welders. In fact, I could do this the other way. I'll put it on that side. That's fine. You know what? Let's double weld so that it looks balanced. You see, like having too many brushes or paints for a canvas, it's overwhelming, especially when you know that there is always a better brush color for what you're trying to do. Yeah, Shadow, it can kind of give you that decision paralysis because you have too many options.
It's quite easy to get into a trap like that. Uh, I might grab that one out and place it with Conveyor Junction. doing? That's not even a connection. That is. Go after some of the bases? Low. Maybe. I need to build a new fighter for that though and I wanted to get these defenses established first. Because I felt like having self-repairing defenses might have been a better idea. Not sure it's actually worked out that way. But, you know, we're here now. What's happening? What the? What? This one I just welded the thing up. Yep, oh, missed it. It is funny how the welders can only auto weld the welder next to them for certain build states in certain orientations. Critical. Oh, I was just making good progress. I don't have to go back to base. I want to get this wall done ASAP because this is <laughs> if this gets destroyed before I actually get the turrets on top of it, that's going to be seriously annoying. We got some of them down. And they are shooting at the drone that's over there. Let's go grab the settings from the other ones. Oh, out of hydrogen. Oh, surprised I didn't die then. Goodbye, ankles and knees. <laughs> yes, I didn't bounce this time. Oddly was a benefit. Okay, go out this way, grab the settings for the guns. And then copy them over. And I never got around to fixing that one up. Giving me gun. Hello. There we go. Uh, right. Next step is set up all of the custom data for all of them. Do custom data paste.
I don't know of a quicker way of doing this. And apparently that still has propulsion on it. Alright, whatever. I can just keep shooting. It's fine. Worst things could happen. Hey, job. Going pretty well, actually. I mean, I've lost a few things today, but it's not too bad. Nothing unrecoverable. Uh, Daz, the reason I need to put stuff in the custom data is I'm expecting a lot of these turrets to get destroyed. Therefore, I don't want them to have lots of ammo in them. And because I've got Izzy's inventory manager running on the base, I can control how much ammo gets put in each turret by using it and setting the value of how much ammo goes in each time in the custom data field with the way I've set it up. Oh, it was, a it was a prompt, not a question. Gotcha. Well, for anyone else who was wondering, it's probably good for me to explain it anyway. Okay, I'm going to have to grind that down because that's just going to cause problems and I think I'm just shooting... Yep, I'm just shooting Voxel. You know what? I'm doing this the quick way. Ow! Deaded. You guys better stop shooting soon. Heard a bot as I flew over? Oh. Alright. I'll have to hunt that down. Or it'll hunt me down if I just hang around here. I don't know that the turrets can hunt it down if they can't see over the lip, which they can't. But at least that's five more turrets that can shoot in a fairly wide arc. Plus the two more limited ones. I'm pretty happy with that as progress. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you so much for the five gift subs. And for 34 all up. Thank you. Cross this in white as well. And I'm thinking I'll set the next bit back fair way. I think we need a bigger version of the knock knock because of the wall of turrets, maybe a taxman or an Avon calling. <laughs> yeah, maybe. That was my first iteration of it. Uh, I wasn't sure how it would go, whether it would end up being super, super dangerous or whether it would end up being pathetically inconsequential. Uh, those missiles, however, while they may seem inconsequential against the base, they are very consequential if I'm out there mining resources. And I should probably go get a load of magnesium as soon as I've done this bit. 
I might want to quickly make a blueprint and pr set a projector up. If I can toggle on off. If the pole ends in a three-way tie, all three things happen. If the pole ends in a four-way tie, all four things happen. And now I have a Thresh, a Jerk, and a Charlie inbound. Nope, Charlie's walking back out again. No, you can't place anything over the welders. Because uh, that block space is occupied by the turret. And the welders need to be where they are, or else they can't actually weld up the turret. Oh! Oh! No! No! Oh! Oh man! That was devastating! Oh, and this is gonna cause so much damage when it explodes too. Okay, that was a jerk hitting my base. Ugh. Uh. Uh. So, my plan given that this side can have welders and that side can't, was to try and build this side up until this side was effectively covering all of the all of the entries and eventually build my way over here where the turrets will cover this and basically sacrifice this side. But I was hoping it would last a little bit longer than it has. Uh, so, I need to be able to take the fight to these bases because they are actually... I don't know if that's if it's the bases sending stuff in or if it's you guys that's the problem. <laughs> and I say that. <laughs> I say that with all the kindness I can muster. Slap down some welders that I can at least repair this thing temporarily with. If we are the problem, we are a problem of your own making. It's true. This is kind of... Uh, I actually feel like this is balancing really, really nicely right now. I know it might not seem that way with my base getting destroyed the way it has, but... We've got moments of calm where I get to try and build stuff. And then we have moments of terror where that stuff gets destroyed. Because I haven't built it well enough. And so I have to keep working on trying to make it better each time, each uh, each period of calm that I get. All right, what does the projector say? Build complete, but the welders are still going. A very confusing. Oh, 
Alright, time to take out these bases. Uh, I've got enough ammo. Yep. Let's see how it feels flying out here. Yeah, my defenses need to spread out more. They need... There just needs to be more of them, really. And yes, they need to be spread. So I need to have, like, little pockets of defenses popping up around the place. Uh, with probably some cargo and battery backups so that they can be... So that their connections can be busted, but then they can still maintain function. But yeah, I think I know I think I know what I have to do. I'm gonna finish off that entryway bit though, because I need it to be fairly robust. And then I'll start snake I'll start kind of spreading out and sending out branches of conveyoring to to build turrets that are more spread out and able to hopefully continue to fight when others get taken out or their connections get broken. I'm going to take down this drone first. Is it fresh? Ooh, rockets inbound. I better not get hit by those. Do I plan on making underground conveyor lines? No. I was going to make them surface based. Easy to repair if they go wrong then. I feel like this is just <laughs> using up my ammo. See if I can take this thing out while the auto turrets are doing the rest of the work. Oh, I know there's going to be so much flashing for a second. Sorry, everyone. It's the only way I can make sure I get rid of this spawner. My eyes, my eyes. This is why I need to have some fixed weapons. And that's what I was supposed to be adding to the fighter. I was supposed to be adding fixed weapons. Um, do I have my defense controller? Is it working? Huh. Why is it not... Sending that to my turrets. I'm giving them longer range. It's really annoying. My turrets should be able to shoot further. Alright, I'm just going to have to get in within enemy turret range. Wait, turrets, shoot! Oh, you set to target thrust. That might help. The base does not have any thrust. <laughs> there we go. Now we don't have to be blind. Much better. Come on. 
on. Kill the battery. Kill the battery. I think it's dead. Yep, I'm not being shot at. Let's get some ammo. Base successfully removed. This is when the next time I do this, I give you guys the ability, I do that community goal again and let you all spawn in as many, force me to spawn in a whole bunch of bases. Oh, that's really not much ammo. I was hoping for much more than that. And nothing came out of that one. Which means I'm just going to give up and I'm going to go and ta attack another base. Alright, where are the other ones? Got this one over here. Let's go deal with it. We voted for kill all humans, but nothing happened. Um, Nothing happened as far as you saw. Doesn't mean it didn't happen. Because I was moving, the trigger point for the drones may well have been outside of my radar range. They could be anywhere. See you, Maximus. Yeah, I am missing a reverse thruster. I'm not too worried about fixing this fighter up properly because I want to scrap it and build a new one from new one fresh over. As much as I can, I try and avoid issues where you guys might spawn something that then doesn't actually turn up. Um, but as a general rule, if it happens, it's not something I can do much about. But I do try my best to make it so that it's not a thing. Oh no, I'm going to get within turret range. Why aren't my turrets shooting? Wait, I can't have just destroyed it with that tiny little blast, can I? No. I think I have now, though. Yay! Okay. Next one. Actually, do I need to target that one? These are quite a long way away. I don't think these ones... Oh, actually, they might be close enough to base. I'll go deal with them anyway. It'll make me feel better. I've had a drone that can fire a single small rear railgun. Has just one shot, but will it make it count? Hmm. Interesting idea that I'm not immediately against. Especially if I don't give it enough power to operate after it fires the weapon. How goes the quest to 300 points? Well, it's the second day of the month, so the quest begins now. Um, last month, you very generous people did get me more than the 300 points that the silly Twitch thing requires. Uh, so hopefully for the next three months, that can be achieved so that Twitch gets less and I get more. Oh, 
Oh, here comes a fidget. Oh yeah, this planet has some pretty, pretty extreme world seams. Thanks, Beldenic. Thank the hundred bits. Another one in front. Come on, shoot it. Wait, am I out of ammo? Oh dear, I am out of ammo. Yeah, gotta go home. So I think I just triggered another twist to spawn while I was taking out these existing ones. Which is the challenge when they're this spread out. Because the further I have to travel, the more likely I am to get more of them to spawn in. And the more spread out they are, the more likely I, that is to happen. Which I think I just repeated myself twice in a really weird way. Uh, so let's just ignore that that happened. <laughs> oh, you want Benny Hill music? Hang on, I've got Benny Hill music. I uh, think you'll be able to hear this. Hang on, it's still not playing yet. Can you guys hear that? Oh, you can't hear it? No! Okay, one sec. have to do it this way. <laughs> do it before I crash. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not sure cap back <laughs> was prepared for this. <laughs> so I think this is something I'm going to have to add to some of the drops. <sighs> but just, just in case you were wondering if I was just making fun of Capac with these, no, because I've also added this one to the Discord. Which is probably a little bit quiet, and for some reason I can't make it louder. Whoa! Boom! It's just me going nom 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 nom. Because there were a couple of there were a couple of moments from the last AA that seemed good for soundboards. Surely that's the perfect one to add to the drops which have the gyro override on them. Yo, yeah. Benny Jig, that would be the perfect. <laughs> perfect setup for the Capac Benny Hill impression.
All right, let's see if the bases are indeed getting me into a whack-a-mole situation or if I can get rid of them. You're welcome, Blightmus. Or Blightimus. See you, Governor. All right, which one's closest? This one. This one is closest. At some point, I will eventually find a piece of software that I'm happy with that allows me to play uh, soundboard stuff through OBS using my touchscreen on my stream PC. I looked for I looked through some recently, and they just didn't quite. Yeah, they just weren't um, what I was after. They they were like. Um, Things for D and D DMs and the like. Yeah, NCC. <laughs> Thank you so much. But yet another ten gift subs. You madness. You madness? Yeah, sure. We'll go with that. You madman. You mad Egyptian god. Um. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, I am getting shot back at. Come on, take it down. I'm going to go off to the base. If I get closer, I might hit a bit more. Oh, jeez. Okay. That was more effective than I uh, anticipated. I also have no idea what they're shooting at right now. Or if that's the turret bug. I remembered something that I was supposed to add to the loot table for the kindness drops. I was meant to add rockets. So I could potentially at least have a handheld rocket launcher for certain things. Some fun. Are these actually hitting? Oh yeah, they're hitting. Sorry about that. The brightness there. I just wanted to quickly check. I should have warned you guys before I did that. Why oh, my two side ones aren't shooting? I've got ammo. Oh, I think it's dead. Yep, it's dead. Okay. Let's get the next one and hope that we don't get another one spawning while I go over it. No, they're not off. You can see on my HUD the number three. They're all on. On, 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 on. Because I've got them properly set up in groups now. Can you add a camera or searchlight to the front for spotting? Yeah, I probably could. After it's destroyed these bases, uh, I think this will be the last... I think I'll call this the last journey of the fightless. If it gets rid of uh, these bases. And then it'll be retired. And I'll start thinking about what I'm going to do for the improved version. Other than, you know, front-mounted guns and side-mounted turrets. You guys hear Charlie sleep dipping in the background? Occasionally? Yep. Since Shadow just wrote, yep, yep, I suspect so. 
think she's having a good little dream there. Yes, that is my giant dog sleep yipping. Will the successor to the fight list be the mostly harmless? Um... It depends. Turrets? You gonna shoot? Hmm? Shoot? Hello? Wait, it can't already be dealt with, can it? No, it's not dealt with. If I start this shooting... And then I exit. Will it just keep shooting? Oh, I moved my ship a bit. Didn't mean to. What's a chat trap? Uh, the chat traps are the things the chat can spawn that do nasty things to me. Okay, so we've gotten rid of the ability for it to spawn things, but I haven't gotten the... I haven't actually killed the grid yet. It's still got power. Oh wait, I know what I can do. Uh, which turret is that? That is turret 4. Gatling. Oh, there's two of them! That is turret 4. Turret 4. Shoot. So, if I go control... Control, control, control. And because they don't have idle movement. Do this. Line them up. And number four, line it up. This is such a jank way of doing this, but... Shoot! On! <laughs> I do have an AI defensive configured to use the newly fired starts. Yeah. It's just only working intermittently. It's annoying. Oh, yep, looks like I've done it. Okay. Well, even if I haven't destroyed the battery, I've destroyed its link to those turrets, so it's dead. <laughs> is this its, is its last flight? Ramming speed? No! No, I want, I want the components. I don't want to throw it away. Fightless has been useful. Uh, although, I am about to run out of ammo, so I do have to head home with it. I can't take out that last turret yet. Not getting the rep decrease you're hitting. It's weird, the... Re the... Um, yeah, the reputation stuff is weird sometimes. I could go back to trying to take out these twists with my own remote controlled missiles. We have had some some success doing that, Shadow and I in RVs at War, so could go back to that plan. Rather than trying to take out the drones with them, take out the enemy bases with them. They've only got to get through interior turret fire, so they don't need a huge amount of armor to survive that. Oh, great. We're gonna have to deal with this Hornet first.
Yes. No! No! Maybe they just needed a good switch on and off. Off and on again. I saw stuff getting shot. Ooh, it's down. Yeah. Let's go check out my proper entryway defense since it's moved from the other one. And I have lost an entire turret and welder. Alright, let's rearm. Then I will go out there and I'll replace those missing parts. I was really worried early on that I'd underbuilt the drones that I was fighting against because I've made them somewhat similarly to the ACS drones so that the you should be able to hit the remote and get them to explode. But they are definitely getting their shots off. That is a decent hole. Oh, nuts. That's also the middle. Okay, I need redundant connections here. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Elemental, point defense in Space Engineers does not work. At least with the vanilla weapons. Like, at all. Yeah, it's, it's just the combination of rockets are too short range, so they're shot really close. The rocket has, I think, at max range about four or five seconds at most of flight time. The time it takes for the rocket to be fired, then the, the turret to see that the rocket is there and it's within range. The turret to then turn to face the rocket and then get its own ammo to arrive is too long before the rocket's already hit. There are some weapon mods out there that obviously work, but I don't really use weapon, mod weapon mods. Uh, health critical. Ow. That hurt. Uh, not in this case, Takari. No, they don't. Because they're never going to be shot from outside 800 meters. Almost fixed. Almost. I was lucky to survive that barbecuing.
It does, it does make me want assault turrets for their extra range, but I just don't think they'll get a hit. I'm gonna put them this way so I can more easily access their inventory. Fuel low. Oh, it's probably good timing to Fuel make them easier. Critical. Alright. Prepared. Good to go again. Let's go take out those last... Oh, there's two again! Oh, man. Oh, settings and custom data. You're, you're right, you're right, you're right. I really need to make a blueprint. I might make a blueprint now. And set up a projector so that I don't have to worry about doing the settings and the custom data again. I was hoping to wait till I'd done a bit more of the base before I worried about it, but I think it's probably worth doing sooner rather than later. I'm tempted to put... <laughs> I'm sort of tempted. I'm going to make a projection. To add in a few more welders just to weld up the welders. And hopefully... You know, get stuff rebuilt a bit more easily. What the heck, let's do it. Give it a slightly increased survivability. Not much, but something. Yeah, I just need a blueprint of this part. Because it is not combined with the rest of the base. In fact, for the outer... Like the extra turrets that I do. I may do a similar thing where I've done connector to connector and have all of the turret grids as separate grids so that I can have them project themselves without being. having I mean, to project the entire thing, but we'll see how it plays out once I start laying them out. Put this so that it will be less likely to get destroyed, but this will have to do. Uh, info. UA base entry 2. Control shift B. I want to turn off all these welders first. So that random blocks don't get welded. Aha! I was looking for the projector. There it is. And we are aligned! 
And I need to get rid of this thing that got added. Anything else added randomly? No. Good. Uh, right. Oh, not another hornet! Can I launch my fighter in time? Oh, oh, oh. Wall close, wall close. Come on. I know I need to turn on the welders, but I figured getting up in the fighter was better. It was more, in fact, useful right now. <sighs> um, Fulgen, I intentionally didn't add any audio cue to when the pulse started. Uh, there's a notification in-game chat on screen, uh, which I think is enough. Because I figured no matter what I choose as a notification sound, it's going to get annoying. And yeah, it maybe is something that Twitch should have as a function in polls so that you can choose whether you're notified if the content creator's got a poll or a prediction. So you got an audio cue to go along with it. Like, I guess if it had the the beep of a um an unknown signal appearing, something like that, it probably wouldn't be too annoying. And because I've reduced the frequency of them to only every 10 minutes, probably wouldn't be too bad. Okay. It's projected now. The welders are all on. Apparently this one's going to be on forever. Gah! 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 No! Yeah! Ow! Stop using my things as meat shields! There more? You called in another base. And there's a drone. All right. All right, I see how it is. Should probably go out and do some more mining. Once this latest drone is dealt with. I don't think I should get rid of my uh, fightless. I think I need to build a new one and only once I've got the new one and it's tried and tested do I get rid of this. Get the trash. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh! 8, 10, 12, 14 rockets off. Oh. Brutal. Absolutely brutal.
<laughs> yes, Shadow. You do love, or rather hate, how you always end up scaring me more than whatever happened on screen. Because you're just not expecting my reaction. Um... I guess I could try and set up some sort of patrol drone system so that my turrets aren't just the ones that are out. Oh, there are two drones here. That's not good. But I have more than just the turrets. That could possibly work. Maybe. I kind of want to try. Ooh, that's close. That's was that. Close enough to this thing to take it out, and then I'll focus on the one that's shooting at me. There we go. Oh, 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 jeez. Pointless might have its last flight anyway. If one of those hits me. Yeah, I think I think maybe my next uh, my next defensive plan has to be get the turrets up on the flat surface. I've got to do that bit first. But I think you guys are right. I think we should have some AI like some vanilla AI defensive drones with turrets on them. And part of their patrol route will take them through a welder array so they get constantly repaired. But if I make something relatively cheap and small that just has, like, a pair of turrets on it... That could work. How about power? Um, well, I'll have to go get some more ice, won't I? So that I have enough power so that I can recharge the drones. and make it a bit uh, less spread. Oh, I think that's done. Good. No? Ah! Yeah, it's dead. Cool. Let's get the last one. Yeah, I was thinking I was thinking of trying to make these drones 100% vanilla, not using any scripting at all, just to see if I can do it. Because I feel like this is a good scenario for testing such a thing. And if the patrol route is wide enough, at the very least, they're going to end up being a decoy. So that my turrets don't get shot at, and instead the, the missiles, the rockets, will go against the drones... And that's a much cheaper target to get hit by rockets. I don't think I'm going to clear this mountain. I was definitely not going to clear this mountain. No, 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 It was only a little bit of damage. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, there is a jerk inbound. Let's switch focus onto that.
Yeah, I thought the Atmo went higher than it did. That that mountain's really thin up there. Yes, that could have been a lot worse. Alright, jerk. Are you targeting me or are you targeting the base? I don't know. Probably going to be going after me, but I'm genuinely not sure. Uh oh. No! What? You stupid turrets! Uh, I didn't almost crash into a, a mountain, I did crash into the mountain. <laughs> Just not quite as hard as I could have. No, the f the f the four big thrusters only handle up thrust. Okay, let's. With my remaining two turrets, let's try and take out this base. I figure if I have a collision with the ground, that counts as a crash. Even if I can fly away from it. Hello, turrets. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shoot back! Oh, don't tell me I'm out of ammo. Something else stupid. Oh, great, I am. No, I did get home and get repaired, uh, get the ammo back. I didn't get distracted from the ammo. I did do that. Yeah. <laughs> A good chunk of my ammo was lost in the turrets that were lost. I am genuinely tempted to faceplant this into that enemy base, but I feel like I will be leaving myself way too vulnerable if I do that. And it would, as such, be a considerable mistake. Well, that duck is very dead. Wait till this thing gets taken out by my turrets, hopefully. Oh, jeez. That's a... That's a sizable hole. That's got to have been from one of the missiles. The warhead's gone off. He's deep. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there we go. And the turrets slash the drone knocked down a tree. I was really worried I was going to get hit by that. What the? Nope, oh, they're done. Okay. Let's get some repairs. Get 
some ammo. Get back out there. Yeah, they, the turrets did seem to switch rather than just continuing to shoot then. It was a bit odd. Okay, let's check the projector. Missing one gyroscope. Where that's missing from. Oh, I heard something get welded up then. There we go, we're complete. Get the ammo. Isn't it? There we go. Okay, one last, one last base. Let's do it. Just need one successful run. Yeah, it's probably a robot that's getting itself into range of the turrets that makes them do some weird, unexpected things. Target. Power. Uh, the number one got greyed out because of those turrets being rebuilt, and it was linked to that specific turret rather than a group, so when the turret got destroyed and then replaced. Huh. <laughs> the gyroscope got placed but not finished. Oh well. I have others. Build info error. Hmm. Okay, we'll get a drone in about one and a half Ks. Which we'll have to deal with unless it's still in its cooldown. Which it looks to be. Good, 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 good. Drone hound. Come on. Well, that worked. I think we're going to have to do this manually again. don't know why this happens. Doop, 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 doop. And... Groups. Shoot. On off. Fire! Yes. Kill it! Good. Nope. There's an incoming hornet. I need to kill this before the hornet gets... Wait a second. Hornet's on the far side of this from me. The hornet might shoot this. Let's see if the hornet handles it, handles it for me. <laughs> see you, Shadow. I 
wait till the Hornet gets here. Or not. Apparently. So now they've decided that it is a target. Come on, Hornet. Oh yeah, the Hornet's gonna do it. Now I should be able to fly over... ...and target the Hornet while it's busy. Yes. The system works. Thank you, Johnny H. <laughs> Thanks so much for the five gift subs. Any goodies in the base I'm after? No, I'm just trying to clear the base so that it can't call in drones against me. This is purely offensive defense. Oh, and there's another base just spawned. Urgh. How much ammo do I have? Not enough. Alright, I think that one's going to be far enough away that I don't have to worry about it. Uh, no, we're not using any of the regular... Well, we're not using any regular mods normally. Uh, no assert no anything else the only one that's sort of at its normal settings but not really is the uh what are they called drop pods the npc drop pods things that spawn the bots except they're only triggerable by you guys i think I can't remember if I got rid of the regular spawns. I think I did. So it's all controlled by you guys. Uh, which is also why I am not going to publish any of the mods from this, because I have no reason to. Because they won't function outside this very specific setting. And I don't want to put the work in to make them function. I would rather put that work into Scrapyard, into ACS, that sort of thing. Okay, now that I've got that, I'm going to try and lay out some of this expansion to the defense over the other side. Once I've landed this thing. Oh man, Elemental, if I knew how to make proper, useful, wandering traders in Space Engineers, I would definitely have done that already. Very difficult to make them useful. Rated robot raider pods, raider drop pods, something like that. Why is this still constantly going? Weird. Don't know why some welders do that sometimes. I want 
gonna try and get this to be up here. So it needs to go probably two blocks further, realistically. But actually maybe that needs to go. And then I'll put a regular cargo container here. Then I'll build up another another tier, and then I can try and expand outward from here. Yeah, it could be a debris thing. I don't know, it's weird. Actually, if it might be a debris thing, let's try something. Entity list. Floating objects. Nope. Oh, Raider pods. Ow, 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 ow. At least I've got a lot of turrets helping me this time. Okay. I think the uh, robot army is dead. There's one over here. And it's dead too. I hate the tiny magazine in the marksman rifle. Um, that's why I tend to not use it. I should probably add tiny bits of platinum to some of the drops. Or a tiny chance for some platinum so that I might be able to get myself an elite rifle or something. Or an elite pistol. Oh dear. Okay, I'm out of ice. I'm out of hydrogen. I gotta do a mining mission. I can't even hear the engines. Collect some ice. Hopefully before you guys drop something horrible on my head. My favorite my favorite hand rifle setup is what I'm currently using in assertive acquisitions, which is the precise rifle with the old school magazines because we've still got so many of the old school magazines hanging around our inventory because that gives a precise rifle with a 30 round magazine where was I digging before? oh there oh no 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 no, not a hug. Uh, Alright, I have to go hide. I have to wait for this to get here too. Actually, maybe I can park this over there and I'll fly over and dig. Park this in the tunnel. Or at least near the tunnel.
All right. Let's switch back. Try not to dig too many holes out here that I might drive into later, but I've completely lost track of where I, I dug up before. I know I'm brave leaving it there, but I didn't think I'd be able to get out otherwise. As ice is my only source of power right now, I need to make sure that I've got a supply of it at all times. Got to take some chances. 1.9k's out. Still 2.2 out, let's go again. Uh, I don't think having something without broadcast is going to be fun. Because having an explosion come out of nowhere is basically just creating lightning, but with a different format. And I think we all know my feelings on lightning. The missile follows the terrain quite closely, so it can sometimes take a while to get here. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not remotely convinced that a missile that doesn't broadcast would be anything but frustrating. Oh, what? Is that sometimes not emptying? The jerk is still in the air, and now I think it might manage to find a target. We'll see. Hey, who types? I am also looking forward to when I've when the uh, we get to play the scrapyard stuff again. Well, I've been trying to make time to make some more progress on the mod. The only things that shouldn't broadcast are things with sound blocks instead of warheads. Well, I actually, potentially, yeah. Because the sound block is a broadcast. So you can just use that to home in on where it is. still broadcasting its location, it's just doing it through a different mode. I really like this miner and rover set. It has worked out really, really well. <laughs> Need to give the rover a little bit of style, but functional it is.
had the fun music earlier this stream. I haven't had a bwamp 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 in a while. Uh, looks like we're empty, so I can go out and get another load. I did murder the fun music. And I'd do it again. Drop button. Let's go collect that. What am I gonna get? We get the weird wonky parachute. Oh, double plushie. <laughs> nice. Oh, also, no hydrogen. Yeah. Thank you, Corbin Dallas. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. How's it going? And my tank is not full. Uh... Yay. Now my tank is full. Yeah, I might have to go shoot that jerk. See what's doing. Get some of that warhead. There's some juicy magnesiums. Throwing down the beacon so I don't have to know that this is here. And get distracted by it. My vehicle is not festooned with plushies because I haven't got many. Does the warhead explode? Uh, not normally, but they are armed, so if they get hit by anything, they do go boom. You guys may, and I may, get surprised by some of the other things I've done to those drop pods that I'm going to keep secret until it actually happens in game. Because I've done some things. Like the old things from the big ones. Some of that. Some other stuff. You'll see. Maybe. Depends what you guys pick. Are oh, you very welcome, Corbin? Um. I am always pleased by. This is going to sound bad, but I'm always pleased by what I think is the impact that the tutorials I made for Space Engineers have had. Of all the things I've done, it's probably been one of the most impactful. <laughs> Which I guess is a bit sad, given I worked in healthcare for a while, but nevertheless. Yeah, it always makes me happy. Uh, Tommaso, that version is going to go live on Sunday, so it'll be public! What just happened? Did that jerk finally decide to... It did. No, I didn't realize. Oh... Oh, no. 
Ow, tree. Come on, turrets, take down the drone. Good. Now I'll get the drone. I'm gonna get the rover. No, I think I got hit by the jerk. That wasn't a rocket. That was the missile. Inventory full. Inventory. I really hope full. I've got a blueprint of these. Inventory full. I know I named it, but I can't remember whether I got a blueprint. Um. I may not. Oh no! I'm gonna have to get one of the backup saves and see if I can Inventory get a blueprint full. of it before I play too much more. <laughs> no! Inventory full. No! And the inventory's full. Alright. Let's drive this home. And then we'll have a look at the replay. Uh, I started ignoring the jerk because I thought it wasn't working. So I'm like, eh, it's just hovering there. It'll be fine. I'll just keep going. Did not notice it coming. That is pain. Thanks, Fulden, for the clip. I'll be looking at that in a second. Just going to get this hooked up. First step, go to remote desktop, <laughs> go to backup and grab one of them and copy it to my desktop. Okay. Okay. I should be able to recover the blueprint of that now. So let's have a look at what the heck just happened. Uh, Tommaso, that version is going to go live on Sunday, so. Okay. So we've got this red marker, which I think is going to be the missile. So it'll be... Yep. It'll be... It just sliced straight through me. Dang. As I said earlier, these things... Uh, brutal if I'm out and about. Okay, it'll be public. Uh. I built this missile glitch. <laughs> I made this this effective. <laughs> there you go. You can see it there. That's what got me. Oh boy. Yeah, I think I got shot by my own um, Gatling turrets too. So I think what happens... This explosion is a warhead explosion, and it does enough damage to destroy these drills and a bunch of my cargo containers. Uh, it doesn't wipe out enough for the voxel, but it's I'm within the explosion radius. These missiles are equipped with two or three warheads, so the explosion is amplified. Because the way warheads work is any other warhead within the explosion radius amplifies the explosion radius of the initial warhead. So I got smashed. Absolutely smashed. That was pain. <laughs> oh, let's just watch it through properly. Go live on Sunday, so it'll be public. Ow. Uh, Tommaso, that version's... So much owl. <laughs> Alright, on that note, I think I'm going to wrap it up. 
and have some clear goals for next time, which will involve me hopefully having a blueprint of that miner so I can rebuild it. Build a whole lot more defenses up on the roof, but I'd like to next time get started on having a patrol drone, even if that patrol drone is just a decoy, just to draw attention and I just send them up and they just fly around until they run out of power. But I think something with a couple of turrets would probably be more, have more utility. But yeah, that is my plan for next time. I'll be back on Monday with some more RVs at war with Black Shadow and probably Enshrouded or Pal World with Capac and TFE after that. And on Sunday will be a brand new survival tutorial, which I have re 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 recorded so many times and I'm finally happy with, I think. Uh, which I'm going to evolve into a Let's Play series, like a proper series, once I've done the core teachings with it. So there's all that, and plenty more to come. And I will see you then. Thanks for coming, everybody. Bye.